been away for a while. Some of you know the reason for it. It was my sister's wedding, and I took the liberty to enjoy that event thoroughly. By God's grace, all the event wo- wo- went really well, and I'll be sharing the glimpse of my dance dance performances very soon, so that you guys can enjoy those too. However, now it's le- time to get back to business. The problem that we have in today is nineteen twenty six nearest exit from entrance is maze. Here in this question, you are given a matrix of size m cross n, and you are also told that this is a starting point of that matrix. What do you need to do? You need to search for an exit in that matrix. This matrix has some obstacles in it, and those obstacles are represented by these bricks. You are standing over here. You need to identify the closest exit from the entrance position. For example, if this is the entrance position, where is the closest exit? Exit. There are three exit in total. The first one is this one. The second one is this one. The third one is this one. So this is not achievable from this position. The only two valid exits are first one is this one. Second one is this one. Which one is the nearest one? This one is the nearest one. So the distance between the current location, the entrance location, and the exit happens to be of one unit. Therefore, the answer will come as one. The question is very similar to rotten oranges, and we will be using the same technique over here as well. now let's get back to the same problem so here you are standing at this entrance location these are the blocked walls you can't traverse over here and uh, what do you need to do you need to identify the nearest exit from the current entrance location so this one is the nearest exit which i am highlighting just now and the distance between this location and this location happens to be one unit in total there were three exits 1 2 and 3 how are we going to solve or approach this problem up The answer lies in simple BFS traversal. Why BFS traversal? Why not DFS? Let's understand that problem up. Here I have taken a slightly longer example so that you guys get a good hold of the underlying concept. The entrance position that is given to us is this one. The for in the first row, what I'm going to do? Let me identify the exit locations that are reachable from this position. So this position is one possibility of answer. Uh, this position is not reachable because this is blocked by these two walls. so this is not reachable let me just right cross over here these locations are possible so you can reach this cell by this route 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 so all these cells or exit points are reachable uh, the next one would be these the two so these are also reachable these three are also reachable remember these are not reachable the the ones that i'm highlighting just now so you can't reach this you can't reach this you can't reach this because these three have been blocked these three exits have been blocked by these three walls so this makes it these this this it makes these exits non reachable in nature now comes the question how are we going to solve this problem up so we will use the simple bfs traversal and starting this position what we are going to do we'll iterate in bfs fashion and we will mark the least distance from this current location to each cell given in the question that is reachable in nature so this cell is reachable let's write 1 1 1 over here and this is nothing but the level of your bfs traversal so this is at these three cells are at level 1 now what we are going to do these three would be inserted back into the queue and uh, we will mark those cells that are at level 2 so what are those cells this one is at level 2 this one is at level 2 this one would be at level 2 and this one again would be at level 2 this one again would be at level 2 so we have marked all those cells that are at level 2 and uh, moving ahead using these level 2 cells we will mark those that are at level 3 so let's start the iteration so this one would be at level 3 uh this one would be at level 3 uh then this one would be at level 3 this one would be at level 3 this one would be at level 3 so if you carefully analyze then you will see that we have these one of the boundary locations and this one represents the boundary location that is reachable for the, from this entrance location as a result of which we have found out one possibility of answer and this will be the least one and the answer becomes 3 and the exit is by this route so let's just represent the exits and this person standing over here can make a move 
by this particular route to conclude it further let's walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked over here we will be using the visited array as usual that we keep in the bfs traversal uh, so you will get the crystal clear idea of the algorithm by the coding section the time complexity of this approach would be of order of n cross m the thumb rule of bfs traversal is to create a new queue so here we have created a queue and the generic type of this queue would be an array of integers and this basically represent the coordinate system x comma y moving ahead i have added the entrance coordinates into this queue and i have taken a variable named level that basically represents the distance between each and every cell uh, from the entrance location moving ahead i have created the visited array i have marked the entrance location as visited and at line number 15 i have created a 2d array that will help me identify the new coordinates from the existing one that i am currently at and we already know about these four coordinates so it basically helps you generate the new coordinates in all the four directions up right bottom and left so let's start the iteration while my queue is not empty i increment the level value and i extract the size of my queue i go ahead while size minus minus is greater than 0 what do i do i pull out the coordinates the current coordinates from the queue and then i move ahead in all four directions uh, using the directions array and uh, and once i have the new row coordinate and new row column coordinate using the formula that we have used plenty of times in the past what do i do i check whether the new the next row or the next column is within the limits or not if it happens to be within the limits and it is not a wall i check whether it has been visited in the past or not if none of is if all the conditions make makes it a happy case i further check whether it makes up till the boundary conditions whether the next row or next column happens to be any of the four boundaries uh, then i simply return the level value that i have so far in my level variable otherwise i go ahead and mark my next row and next column as true and push it back into the queue if my return condition at line number 32 is never met i simply return the final answer as minus 1 in case uh, we we are unable to reach any of the four boundaries so let's try and submit this up accepted uh 70 67% faster which is pretty good and with this let's wrap up today's session the time complexity of this approach is order of n cross m because you will be visiting each and every cell only once and space complexity again would be of order m cross n because you are using visited array over here also if you are looking for solutions in java c++ or python then jignesh has submitted the python solution Saurav has already submitted in Java, and someone or the other one, Saurang, uh, Sarang would be submitting uh, the solutions in C++ very soon. So, if you also want to build a similar level of consistency, then coding decoded GitHub repo is for you. I'll be more than happy to review your solution and dump it into uh, the master branch. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.